Yes, that's right. It's Joe here for Joyrider TV. And yes, that's right. We are closing the 2023 speed stick. We're going to be looking at who was the fastest. But this is also an update video set from the last one where we're going to be looking at all the new entries since the last video. Not only that, but stay tuned because I am going to be announcing who is the winner of the Malcheski Composites Pro Joyrider Telescopic Tiller Extension in the Getaway Challenge. Oh, yes, I am. All right, so let's jump in and see who's been cooking it most recently on the stick. We're starting off in 105th position, and this guy in Canada, Christian, yes, this is a paper tiger, no mast, and he's rowing. No, we don't usually do rowing speeds on the speed stick, but he smashed in 4.2 knots. And then in 102 position, we've got Tasha, Hobie 14 in Indonesia with a speed of 10 knots. Very nice. And then notching it up in the 100 position, we've got Daniel sailing a Topcat K4X Touring uh, in Dunedin, Florida, USA with a speed of 12.9 knots. Very nice too. I didn't know that any Topcats had made it to the US. How wrong can you be? All right, and then in 93rd, we've got Jason sailing a getaway um, with a speed of 14.6 on Elk Lake, Oregon, USA. Nice job there, Jason. Then in 81st, and check out the colours on this bad boy. Oh, yeah, these look very nice. This is Derek and Marek's Hobie 16 in UKS Navigo Sopo. Poland with a speed of 15.7 knots. Very nice there, guys. Then notching it up, we've got Matthias in 79th, sailing solo on a Dart 18 on Lake Ulster, Hamburg, Germany, with a speed of 15.9 knots. John and Suzanne sailing a Viper F16 from Goodall Design. Uh, where are they? They're in Canada. Lac St. Joseph, Quebec. Speed 16.7 knots. They're notching it up. And you've got to check out this bad boy. This is Rogers Prindle 16 with the custom sails by Chris Picnally, who has done this amazing job with this uh, sail design. And Roger has sailed this on Lake Erie, uh, Ohio. Uh, with a speed of 16.2 knots. Very nice. Great job there, Roger. Then we're coming back to Vasiliki, and this is a great shot of Eric sailing the Hobie 14 right here. Speed 16.95. Cooking some goose there. Now we're heading to the UK for the 66th position, where we've got Anthony. Uh, with a speed of 17.2 knots, single-handed on the Hobie 16, on the Queen Mother Reservoir, which is near to London. Yeah. Then we've got Michael in Australia, Lake Wallace, New South Wales, also with a speed of 17.2 knots, this time sailing a Hobie 14. Great job there, Michael. Okay, and then in 57th position, we've got Rick and Nathan, and check out this bad boy. Have you ever seen a 16 with wings before? Well, now you have. Rick and Nathan 16 on Lake Nokamixon, Pennsylvania, USA, with a speed of 17.6 knots. Absolutely cooking the goose. That goose is done. Yes, it is. All right, then in 55th, we've got Lorenz in Elizabeth, uh, sailing a North Club Cat K2X, which I believe is probably a Top Cat because they've got a K2X as well. Or Zedelzee, Austria, speed 17.66. Into 51st with Scott and Chris uh, sailing the Prindle 19, Galveston Bay, Texas. 
speed 18.1 there. Also with 18.1, we've got featured feature um, featured feature on Show Us Your Cat, Nico, sailing with Jorg on his Nova Cat 16, which he built himself, uh, sailing on Grosser Plonazi, Germany, also with 18.1 knots there. And then check out this bad boy. This is the round Texel race and smashing it in with 18.57 knots in the biggest catamaran race in the world. Uh, we've got Leon and Ludwig sailing this C2. Uh, Texel is, of course, in Holland and it is still the biggest catamaran race in the world. And then in 42nd, sailing the NACRA 4.5, we've got Phil and Julian uh, sailing on the Gold Coast, uh, Australia in Broadwater, 18.6 knots. Very nice too. Notching it up, sailing a Hobie iCat. Uh, this is a carbon fibre state-of-the-art single-handed boat from Hobie. They didn't sail much, but this is on Nuthatel Lake, Switzerland, with a speed of 18.76 knots for Luke in 39th position. Then in 37th, we've got Trevor and Jason sailing in Kaneohe Bay, Oahu, Hawaii, with a speed of 18.98 knots. Very nice indeed. And then notching it up with 19 knots, keeping it in Hawaii, but just skipping across to Maui. We've got Joseph and Ryan sailing the NACRA 500 Honeycat. Nicely notched up. And then as featured recently in Show Us Your Cat, we've got Bruce in 32nd sailing his A-Cat in Dubai with a speed of 19.1 knots. Very nice. 29th for Bobby and Laurie, sailing a Hobie 21 SE uh, in Pennsylvania, USA, speed 19.2 knots. And then we're notching it up to 21st. And here we've got Eric. He's sailing a Hobie 16 solo in Hancock Pond, Denmark, Minnesota, USA, with a speed of 20.3 knots. Now, if you know about sailing a Hobie 16 solo, there's a big moment when you smash through 20 knots because that takes a lot of commitment, dedication and some fruit in your trousers. Oh yes. Okay. And then also solo on a Hobie 16 coming from Lake Weber, Queensland, Australia with a speed of 20.52 Really cooking here. Check this out. Uh, that's Ned uh, in 18th position. And then in 17th position, and this is, this, does, this would deserve a prize if we had a prize to give. But we've got Bernard and Bridget sailing a Hobie 15. Yes, that's a 15. Not generally seen as one of the quicker catamarans. Uh, sailing on Norzadersee, Austria, with a speed of 20.9 knots. That bad boy must have been humming like an old goat going that quick. Amazing. Good, great job there, guys. Then in 14th position, we've got Mark and Reg sailing a NACRA F20 Carbon in East London, South Africa, with a speed of 21.7 knots. Yes, we are absolutely smoking at the moment down there. Very nice too. Then in 10th place, and look at, this is one of the best looking classic tornadoes out there. This is Scott's boat. He's sailing with Craig in Galveston Bay, Texas, smashing in a speed of 22.1 knots on the classic tornado there. Very nice. And then we are notching it up a bit more. This is a, a notch up, notch up. We're inside the top 10 now. It is getting very exciting, I think you'll find. Uh, Paul, out here, Vasiliki, Lefkus, Greece, sailing solo on a Hobie 16. And on a normal day, you'd think that's probably the fastest 
solo 16 on the stick. Not today. Uh, yeah, with a speed of 22.78. That is absolutely flying. That requires maximum commitment on the 16. Great job, Paul. In fifth, we've got Thomas and Juan sailing a Hobie 16 in Sota Grande, Spain, with a speed of 23 knots. That is quick. That feels good, tastes good, smells good. Then in fourth position, and surely this must be the fastest solo Hobie 16 on the stick. Not today for Jimmy Carpenter sailing in Lake Weber, Queensland, Australia, with a speed of 23 Point two knots. The fastest Hobie 16 solo this year was Scott dropping it in the slot as he does uh, Cultus Lake, Oregon, USA with a speed of 23.72 knots. That is absolutely unbelievable. Yet Scott has done some serious upgrades to his 16. He's got the EPOs on there. He's got the custom whirlwind sails for in the engine room. And he is curling his toes at the back of the boat. Great job, Scott. I tip my hat to you, sir. And then in second position, and look at this piece of equipment. This is an M32 built by Marstrom, who build a lot of the tornadoes. Uh, there's Helga, who is one of the most famous German catamaran sailors of all time, uh, sailing with Timon on the M32 in the Bay of Lübeck in the north of Germany uh, with a speed of 23.9 knots. That is one hell of a boat. Great job there. Which means the fastest boat on the stick this year and this speed was actually submitted on the 13th of January, so almost a year ago. It's David and Phil sailing the Hobie 16 in Lake Constance out of Bodensee, Switzerland. Not actually this part of the video would be the quickest bit because um, you can see they're trapezing quite far forwards, which makes me think this wasn't the moment when the speed was absolutely smashed. But they smashed in a 25.3 knot speed January 13th in Switzerland. If nothing else, yes, it's quick, but oh my gosh, that must have been cold. Yes, it was. So very well done once again to David and Phil. But I know what you're thinking. You haven't told us who has won the getaway challenge. With a speed of 19.9 knots, sailing, I believe, in Dreviken, Sweden, is Declan. The winner of the Malcheski Composites Pro Joyrider Telescopic Tiller Extension. Oh yes, well done Declan. That is absolutely smashing it on the getaway. I'll be in touch to organise the delivery of your new piece of steering uh, equipment there. And believe me, you are going to love it. Thanks very much for watching. Thanks for getting involved, everybody who's got involved with the speed stick. And um, I will be seeing you soon with some more on Joyrider TV. Good luck to you and have a great new year. Thank you very much.